What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am out here tonight doing something I have meant to do for a long time and that is come back and do a repeat camp in this uh, long forgotten abandoned cemetery. Some birds chirping. There's some nests up there. I did a, a camp here when I was super, super new on YouTube, and I went back and watched that video um, a week or two ago, and I just thought it was... I didn't have as good of equipment as I do now. The sound was uh, uh, especially bad. Uh, you can barely hear anything I'm, I'm saying, so I was still kind of figuring things out at that stage. So this has been on the list to come back and uh, do a part two here. I've got a tarp to set up. I've got my one person tent, I've got some beers to drink. I'm going to show you around the area. Of course, we're going to be super respectful with the graves. I went out of my way uh, to not walk on them. We're expected to get some rain. We just had this insane blizzard that came through um, uh, sub-zero temperatures, including the wind chill. It was down to negative 28 or, or something. I mean, it, that type of stuff generally doesn't happen up here. All of a sudden we had a thaw and now we're we may or may not get rain tonight, so I want to be prepared for it. But i um, been meaning to camp out in this, uh, come back and camp out in the cemetery for a while. So, yeah, so we're going to get camp set up. Um, I'm going to have some beers. I'm going to drink some dinner. But before we do any of that, i got to take a little nip off of the old banana flask. Oh, I forgot I put that in there. Oh, was, I was expecting whiskey. Woof, that's uh, 99 bananas, it's a liqueur. <laughs> it's not bad, it was just a shot. And not quite, there's no way of getting that. Well, could I just wrap that extra length around? Could I do something with it? I'm gonna have to give this one a little thought here. Okay, so we're gonna tie off with an arbor knot here. And I've got my tie out point on the tarp here. And we're gonna go all the way over. Okay, so slightly bit longer would have helped me out there, but that's okay. Okay, and let's see if this works. <laughs> oh man, talk about barely having enough length to do it. Okay, that works. Man, barely. <laughs> oh goodness sakes. <sighs> And just how I like it to be honest. Yeah, so I think we're gonna lower that down just a little bit. I've done this before, kind of know where I want it. Oh, that's the nice thing about adjustable knots. Kind of tinker with them a little bit, get them right where you want them. And then I've already got some prussic knots on this, which I've shown you guys plenty of times, but basically just running a loop and you're circling it back around on itself. I've, I've done it so many times, but it slides this way and it doesn't slide that way. So there's what the front looks like at this stage. Ooh, I really love these foam mats. Um, I'll link in the description the one that I use, but um, they just have so many uses. You can kneel on them. Um, they give you an extra layer of protection from the cold ground. Um, if you're 
inflatable mat goes out, you have something giving you some kind of protection from sticks and stones and sharp pointy things. Um, it weighs nothing, but also as you start pulling stuff out of your pack, looking for other things, you can kind of have like a clean dry surface to put stuff on. That's super, super useful. Okay. There they are. Sticks. Oh. Here comes the rain. Oh boy. Wasn't moving fast enough. Let's do this quick. Now we gotta move. Now we gotta get serious. Okay, so by tying off to that log, I was able to make up for the fact that I forgot to bring one stake. I was one stake short. Actually, why am I even telling you that? That just makes me look stupid. Oh, right, I can edit this part out. I don't have to keep this part. Okay, note to self, Sam, edit out this part.
you know, so I decided to pull this stake up and tie off to this little flat sapling here. It's not hurting it in any way, but that raises this uh, corner of the tarp up a little bit here and just gives the camera a little bit more visibility. It makes it easier on me in terms of filming. And I don't think it's gonna provide any significantly less protection from the rain. So I think we've got a good setup here. Woo! And I could actually use this other stake to stake out this vestibule down here. So this is gonna actually work out perfectly well. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, it's funny. I got so much nature hike stuff. Nature hike tent. Nature hike chair, nature hike table, and uh, they don't pay me. Um, they sent me some of this for free. My wife bought me this as a present before I even started YouTube. Like I always say, your inbox fills up so fast. The moment you get any kind of traction on YouTube and just companies trying to send you free stuff, free stuff, they always want to send you like something that costs 30, 40, 50 dollars and have you make a whole video that's nothing but a commercial about that thing. But Nature Hike just sends me this stuff with kind of no strings attached. And I just think for when you when you get past that really super beginner level and you start to get a little bit more serious about uh, you know, wild camping, I guess they call it over UK, you know, we call it dispersed camping, bushcraft, whatever, you know, backpacking. This is a nice step up. The step up in quality, it's pretty decent stuff. It's not the top, top, top of the line, but it's also pretty darn affordable. So I just like the brand. Bada bing. These are these little uh, fire starters I got from Bigfoot Bushcraft. Um, they're not exactly perfect, but I think they're pretty fantastic and they're just kind of pre-made, they're easy and I haven't. I don't think I've, uh, I don't think I've tried to start a fire and, and been unsuccessful with these yet.
rain is kicking up. Oh, I got all my stuff kind of jury rigged in here. Um, I love this one person tent, but it's so compact and tiny and everything. But on the other side, that's kind of the problem. I don't have a room for my backpack in there. When you're camping in the rain, the best solution is to have the backpack in the tent. Yep, we're gonna cook dinner here in a bit. Um, oh, I guess. Get into this, I brought a nice sample pack here out with me. We're gonna kick this off with a Lagunitas something nail. A way smooth and silky IPA. Yep, that is good. I don't drink IPAs all the time. I know they're popular. I work them into rotation. I like to have one once in a while. Especially don't mind a space kitty. My wife got me that uh, Mora Pathfinder um, for Christmas and it is super fun to use and it's super versatile and I'm excited to try it out more. It's a little um, light for a job this big. Um, this is something I'm gonna be using in my cooking here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the old silky saw.
these got a bit burnt, unfortunately. It's my first time trying to grill asparagus on a bed of coals like that. Mm. It's not horrible. Yeah, it's a bit burnt, but it's okay. So I'm eating my asparagus first. And then I'll go grab my pork chop because it's gonna take longer. It's all a learning experience. But it doesn't really matter if I eat the veggies first and then I eat the pork chop. Not big of a deal. Hopefully you guys are having fun. I'm having a blast. <sighs> That's actually not too shabby. God, it's like a hockey puck. Okay, let's see what it looks like inside. another Lagunitas. I got a uh, sample pack. I don't always go for IPAs, but they're so popular. It's like what's on the shelf all the time, and I certainly don't mind them. So I'm going to have this Lagunitas Hazy Wonder. This is a hazy IPA. 6% unfiltered ale. Get this ready. So I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Oh, try to get these hockey pucks down. It's not, it's not that bad. It's a little overcooked. I burnt the one side and I said, well, I'm sure not doing that again. And then I burnt the other side. One of these days I'll figure out how to camp. Hopefully that's not too blinding for everybody. So, a couple things I want to cover with everybody. First thing, I went to the barber the other day. He said, do you want me to clean up the beard a little bit? I said, sure. And he took quite a bit of it off. I was cultivating that beard. Um, 
prior to that, a lot of people in the comments had uh, called me Young Santa Claus, and I think that's fair. Second thing, last time I did my cemetery camp um, over the summer, I rode the electric skateboard over there. There were some people in the comments who said they felt it was disrespectful to camp in a cemetery. Um, I just wanna say I do respect your point of view. I don't share it. I think that if you are a person who believes that there's some kind of spiritual presence here, don't you think they'd like a friendly visitor once in a while? Number three, had uh, several new um, subscribers to the Patreon. I definitely appreciate that. I understand completely not everybody can do it. Um, that's why you can watch this video on YouTube completely free of charge, and it definitely helps me out to watch it. And everyone who watches this video, whether you comment, whether I know about you or not, Thank you, I appreciate it. If you ever are a person who feels inclined, I do have a Patreon. I do blooper reels over there. I do preview kind of content. I, I, I put a, con a clip up once in a while of a video I'm editing so people can see what, what's gonna, what's coming. Um, I do some, you know, some special stuff, you know, over there that you don't get on the regular YouTube channel. So there's extra content over there. So if you feel inclined, um, it's there. If not, completely understand. I think this has been uh, a really fun camp. I, I hope the video turns out well. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I haven't gotten too wet. I've got a spare pair of socks just in case I need to change into it. But um, other than that, um, I think this is uh, about it for me for the night. Probably have one more beer. Watch that fire die down. Spread those coals around. Let the rain put it out. And uh, check back with you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. There he is. I thought. I thought I was being watched. Felt like somebody was around me. Pretty sure that's a deer right there. Trying to get it to focus, that's an eyeball for sure. No question about that. Nope, that's not an eyeball. <laughs> that is not an eyeball. That is a reflective dealy that somebody put on the tent. That is hilarious. That's so somebody can find their way around or find their way back in or navigate during the nighttime. Keep track of the trail. Good morning, everybody. Not sure if you can hear it, but it is still raining. Okay, let's get into it. I'm sure you can hear the rain. I can't exactly feel it. Once in a while, an occasional drop. I don't think I need the poncho for this. Everything's completely drenched, so I gotta tear this campsite down and hike it on out of here. So let's get into it.
So I think that's the only name um, that can be made out still. Here's the front of the graves. I've been told this is a Freemason cemetery. I can't confirm that, uh, but I did want to show you guys a little bit of a tour around the place before I left. That's another one in the books. I appreciate everybody for coming with me on this one. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, please click that banana and we're going to catch you on the next one. Bye everybody.